Oh, ah, oh, that was, oh, he came back. He came back. He came back. I had him, lost him. He came back for more. We're back with another edition of the fishing hole. In the middle of a tropical storm, I'm here at my local spot. I'm gonna see what fish are here. I'm gonna see if this storm has churned up some big fish. Stay tuned, see if we can catch some big ones. I think it's raining. A little bit of rain. All right, uh, I'm here at my local spot. If you are, ooh, Blue Heron just got spooked. If you watch my channel, you might recognize this area. I was here about a year ago. And when I was here, same time, same type of weather, there were some big fish here. I'm about to take a chance See if those same fish are back here. Provided I don't kill myself in the process. Man, it's windy. I'm starting off with some small. These are four inch gulp. These are swimming mullets. I'm gonna go for a smaller one because I got a feeling if they're here, they're, uh, they're not, they might be big. I'm gonna see if maybe there are some schooly stripers hanging amongst the rocks here. So that's our presentation. This is 30 pound braid, uh, 40 pound mono leader. And I have a dream. Yeah, I'm gonna see if we can scare up some biggins. Biggins. We're looking for some biggins. All right. Dude, yeah, what are we got here? Oh, no, 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 no. I think it was a striper. Just missed him. Just missed him on the St. Croix. I believe, I do believe, as Buddha, as my personal Lord and Buddha, I do believe the strippers are here. That was two knocks. Just to go over to the rig I'm using today. This is my uh, fast action, heavy power Mojo Salt. I have my pen spin fisher. I have 30 pound braid. I have 40 pound mono to a little quarter ounce jig. And that is a gulp at the end of my rod. No innuendos intended. Thank you. Thank you. It is a beautiful, blusterous Sunday in the middle of a tropical storm. Ah, oh, dude, that is a fish and a half. That's a fish. The definitive, the definitive fishing pole head shake. What are you, friend? Oh, are you a striper? Yeah. The kid is back. The kid is back. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wrangle this fella up here. It's a really nice schooly striper here. Her. These guys are here. So we have a nice little schooly striper. I brought my, I brought my probably about 18 inches or so. Let's see, I'd say about 18 inches. Yeah, 19, 19 inches. Let's put this gentleman back. See if we can catch some more. I'm gonna take a picture. See you later, dude. Striper number one. See if there's more. So I caught him pretty deep down those pylons there. 
I got one bite just opposite the turbulent water that's here coming off the dam. So we're gonna see if we can strum up some more of these fish. Ideally, I do want to catch them between those pylons. So that was the first one I missed. Second one we caught. Let's get some more. So the secret is our rough weather and hurricanes. About a year ago I was here, same time, same type of turbulent water. And they were kind of hard to catch, but they were here. So let's hope we can do a, do a little bit of damage here. Maybe catch one that might be a keeper. And every time I'm here, they're usually schooly sized. About roughly in and around 20 inches, which is not exactly a keeper size, but you know what? I'll take it. I will certainly take it. Not there. I'll take it though. So this rig is more meant for salt water. Yeah. It's another one. Another striper. Another striper. He uh, looks like he might be bigger. Let's get a good camera eye view of him. He's about the same size as the other one. I'm gonna try to fling him up. Whoa, dude, he's a little bigger. He's not legal, but he's mine. You are mine. You are mine. He looks like he, I don't know. You get the ruler out here. All right, he might be like 22 inches. Nice size. Beautiful, schooly striper. Here in fantastic Delaware, home of the president, home of the Whopper. Ah, let's see. And I got my pliers out. Got my striped bass shirt on too. I'm losing my grip here. I'm using, all right, here we go. He's out. About 22 inch, schooly striper. I love you. <laughs> See, a true fisherman is always excited. Okay, I took a walk down here toward the very bottom. See if I can get a different vantage point. This is not exactly the safest spot to be in. So if you plan to do this, be safe. Let your friends, family, cousin, uncle, brother, sister, brother-in-law, whoever, know where you are, know where you're going. My family knows I'm here and uh, they still think I'm nuts. I'm not gonna argue with that. Um, Rocks are kind of slippery right here. Yeah. I am liking this rod. This is new. Ah. Uh, that's a snag. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Let's see what's left. It's actually nice when you use heavier gear um, you can salvage, you can salvage some stuff. So this is our quarter inch Walmart jig head with a, I think it's a four inch swimming mullet and, uh, caught two fish. What is going on with this thing? Caught two fish today.
Whoa. I don't know what just happened next to me. So the rain has kicked up. But has not deterred my spirit. No. 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 Well, like I said, if you use heavier gear, especially around here, there's a good chance you can salvage whatever you're using. Because this is some potent, heavy duty stuff here. This is more stuff you're gonna use in the surf. This is what, this is what I originally intended it to do, is to, is to fish this in the surf. The other reason why I wanna come down here is if you see those two pylons, I wanna see if I can target in between there. Possibly, possibly catch another fish. If the Gordon, good Lord wants me to. Well, the problem with the stripers here, um, they can be very finicky and very uh, transitory, meaning they're here and then they're not. So it's what they are as a species. They are constantly swimming, looking for food, looking for love in all the wrong places. And they haven't found love here, I can tell you that. But. Oh, ah, that was, oh, he came back. He came back. He came back. I had him, lost him. He came back for more. You just had had to have a little more of a pole, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, you wanted the pole, didn't you? You little striper, you. Well, oh, I got my net here. We're gonna net this, this Goomba. It's always nice to take a net with you. It's another schoolie striper. I mean, reality. It sounds like that cycle is just farting up a storm here. Oh, lure came right out of his mouth. He actually hit it and uh, I didn't give up and I caught me him again. He came back for more. Ow! You didn't tell me you had teeth. You didn't tell me you had teeth. All right, let me get a measure on this guy and a quick one, two, buckle my shoe. Dude's almost spying in me. So he is decent. These are healthier than the ones I caught last year. Beautiful, beautiful little striper, Mr. Schoolie. Mr. Schoolie, I think I love you. All right. Get a quick measure on this guy. He is, they're actually slightly bigger now. Uh, he's about, he's about an even 20 inches. So, nice guy. I'm gonna get a pick. Sure. Yeah, I know, I dropped my consonants today. I gave it up for Lent. Ah. Uh, So he actually hit it, I lost it, and then I hit it again. So, goodbye, goodbye. Come back next year, even bigger. You gotta throw one in for the rest of the fishermen here. Well, that was really fun. Um, so lesson to be learned, and I've taught this lesson before, storms can work in your favor. As you can hear the wind howl behind me, look around there's nobody here that's a plus so if you're willing to risk a little you might make some good gains this was fun i didn't catch keeper but i did catch some fish so that's what the name of the game is if you can i would appreciate if you did subscribe if not it doesn't matter because i love doing this and i'm going to make a lot more videos so happy fishing everybody stay dry
might be the final fish we caught. Rain's kick. Oh, geez. Rain is really kicking up here. Fortunately, it did bring rain gear. My pants are not waterproof. Did I mention I was incontinent? 